Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. My name is Tamara and I am the Paper and Pen Girl. On this channel, we love all things planner related. So we talk about planner goodies, we talk about how to use our planners, ways to make it more functional, more effective for us. And we also talk about goals and accountability. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you several tips that I think are important for you if you are using your power sheets for the first time. What power sheets? I'm talking about the 2022 Cultivate What Matters power sheets. Now, these are currently on sale as of the recording of this video. You can check my affiliate link in the description box down below to pick up a copy. Now, these power sheets, y'all, have power in them. If you are looking to have a cultivated year, if you are looking to dig deep and to be able to just figure out what goals you really, really want to go after, the ones that really matter, then I definitely suggest this goal planner. I've been using this goal planner for the past three years and I'm telling you that it's a part of my budget, it's a part of my spending plan, it's a part of my thinking process whenever I think about what am I going to use for the upcoming year. When I first started using the power sheets, I just took it, you know, as I went along, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it, how I wanted to use it, how I really wanted to get the most out of these pages. And so as I've used it for the past few years, there are a few things that I've learned that I think are really good tips for people that are planning in this power sheets for the first time coming up in 2022, or maybe it's even only your second year. Um, and so I'm going to share those tips with you today. The first tip is to approach the power sheets with an open mind. I think sometimes we place too much expectations on a particular tool that we're going to be using. And when that tool doesn't function the way we thought it would, thought it should, we get disappointed, we get frustrated, and all sorts of other things. And so you really need to come to the power sheets with an open mind and an open heart. In my experience with the power sheets, y'all, it really digs deep if you allow it to. If you are still being closed off, if you are still not really allowing the questions to dig to the heart of the matter, to get to the real answers, then you're almost wasting your time, right? Because it's made to get past the superficial fluff and to really get down to what in your life is going to matter and why it's going to matter, okay? And so I had to approach the power sheets with complete openness, saying to myself, okay, I'm open to whatever um, foolishness <laughs> is going to show me that I've been thinking, that I've been doing, that I've been cherishing. I'm open to um, even the pain that it was going to cause because I knew getting down to the real truth of some of the things that was going on in my life, it was going to hurt. And so you got to be open to that and understand that it's going to probably happen um, and just allow it to happen. For some, it's more emotional than others. Um, while others can just roll through it and it's not it's not even an issue. But for some of us, it's quite emotional. And for me, it was really emotional. And I think I probably have cried every year <laughs> since I started my power sheets because there's always something in there that peels off another layer, right? And I'm I'm 
ready for it every single year. And so I try to prepare myself as best as possible to um, approach these power sheets with care, with caution, with an open mind, an open heart, and ready to do the work necessary to tear away that old baggage, the old um, things that I can't do, why I can't do it, those, um, uh, you know, the, the way we talk to ourselves, those negative thinking, the fear that comes with a lot of things that we want to do, but we just are afraid to do it because we don't want to fail. And sometimes we don't even want to succeed because of what that means. Oh my goodness, y'all. So um, that would be the number one tip for me is to come with an open mind and an open heart because what you think might happen might not be the thing that you needed the most to happen. I'm just saying, putting it that way. Okay. That's tip number one. Tip number two, before you even decide to put pen on that paper, y'all, is to read through your power sheets completely. Open up the book and I want you to read from the Hello Fresh Start 2022 all the way to the end of your goal setting sections, which is where you're going to um, break down your goals into mini actions, right? Mini tasks. And I think that for me, um, after my first year, helped to prepare me for what pages were going to be really emotional for me. Um, and that allowed me to be able to set aside appropriate amounts of time to complete that page or those page if there are multiple ones. And for me, um, I know that this year I have already seen this particular page that was going to ask me this year to fill out about me. Like it did it last year, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I did not do that page. And so the Imagine It, Your Intentional Year page, when I read like every single thing on that page, y'all, it, it hit me different this year. It hit me different this year. And so I know that I'm going to need the day or two to be able to process this page to really um, allow the digging from tip number one to happen, right? Allow it to happen and come to this page honestly, come to this page truthfully, come to this page confident um, as well. So read through every single page before you start working in it. What that will also do is prepare you for the amount of work that is involved in preparing the prep pages in the power sheets. It can seem overwhelming for a lot of people, but it's not that overwhelming if you divide up your pages. I've developed a calendar for myself this year for November and December that I'm going to work on and what pages I'm going to be working on for those particular days. And so it's going to be enjoyable. It's going to be easier because I'm not trying to do it all in one sitting. Other people are going to be able to spend a day and run through their power sheets or two days and do that. But for me, your girl needs time to process things, right? So that's tip number two is to read through all of your pages. If you agree with this tip, if you have any additional tips, again, please post them in the comment section so that viewers can get some wisdom from you all. So tip number three, before you fill out these power sheets, now as you're reading through them, you're reading through the pages, you're looking at the pages like, who's about to do this, right? Don't feel pressured to fill out every single page. So the first year, um, I looked at some of the pages and I was like, no, I'm not doing it. 
And that was, of course, because mm, that's me. I'm stubborn. I got a stubborn personality. Not, not proud of it, but I have a stubborn personality. So I was being rebellious. And I'm like, I'm not going to fill out all the pages. And I didn't. And what I also learned was some of these pages meant more to me than other pages did. And so I ended up not using some the first year. The second year I came back to the power sheets, I used more sheets than I did the first year because it's all started coming together for me. And so now I was able to um, put more on the pages. I wasn't so rebellious. <laughs> Growth, y'all, I'm growing. So I wasn't so rebellious with the pages. And now I actually look forward to seeing how many pages I'll be able to use to write on, to mark on for this 2022 session. And so don't think that there's something wrong with you. You're not doing it right or whatever that might be just because you are not able to fill out some of the pages. Now, I know some people have a problem with blank pages in their planner. Put some stickers on it, decorate it, make it pretty, make it beautiful, put some washi tape on it. You know, do something to ease your mind so that you'll be able to work better in the power sheets. So tip number four is going to be Right on the pages, right on the pages. I know, I know. The first year I started my power sheets, no, I, I was like, no, we're not writing on this page. No, we're not writing on these pages, but it's meant to be written on. And so because I was stubborn and rebellious, I used sticky notes. That was my comfort zone <laughs> for that first year. Y'all, I have sticky notes on every single page of my power sheets from the first year that I used them. And I would eventually, as I started going along, I would remove the sticky note and write on the page itself. But I still had a gazillion sticky notes for the entire year because we just are not writing on this page because if I mess something up and I have to cross it out and I don't like using whiteout on my pages and really what stickers am I supposed to use in here? And it's, it was, it was too much. Um, but over the years with the power sheets, I've learned that it is a best to write on your pages, y'all. And so this year I'm committed to what I call live out loud on my pages. Y'all, my pages are gonna be so written on and so washi tape and stickered up. It's not even funny because, um, yeah, I don't use that first page of stickers in the power sheets either because, um, yeah, they're not for using. <laughs> they're for making my power sheets look pretty and that's it. I can't. So this year I actually bought the sticker book. And so with the sticker book, I'm able to use those stickers. Okay. But this page right here, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's, mm -mm, it's not for using. I do have a video that I'm going to be making. So please be on the lookout for that video. And in that one, I'm going to be sharing you tips for pages, for individual pages inside the power sheet. And so if you're new to the power sheets, you may be like, well, I don't want to use this way, this way. How can I use this that way? I'm going to be sharing some tips with you. So look out for that video. But um, I purchased this <laughs> Yoda Gray Erin Condren uh, lined notebook. Now this particular notebook, y'all, is what I'm going to be using for my first draft to accompany my power sheets. And I love the fact that this says do or do not, there is no try. So it's a little extra boost because I feel like Yoda is giving me the side eye. Even though Yoda really doesn't give people side eye, he gives people like these ear twitches. But anyway, I feel like he's giving me the side eye. And so um, I did purchase this to go along with my power sheet. So all things, working out my goals, thoughts, goal related will be in here first. And then I'm going to transfer my final draft that I really want onto the pages of my power sheets in ink. 
and I'm even going to be using colored ink this year. Y'all, I mean, I'm like, I'm grown. <laughs> I'm like, power, she's grown right now. <laughs> and so, and so y'all, um, the tip is write on the pages, okay? Tip number five, y'all, is I think one of the most important tips. And it's that progress, not perfection, is the name of the game. I love this concept that Laura Casey puts throughout the entire planner, y'all. Everything that we're bringing to the power sheet, it doesn't have to be perfect right? The handwriting doesn't have to be perfect. The way we're thinking and expressing the plans doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the, the way we decorate it doesn't have to be perfect. The order in which we have it don't have to be perfect. It's the fact that we are being consistent. It's the fact that we are doing, we're moving consistently, right? It's progress bit by bit. That is what encourages change. That is what encourages us to be better than we were last year, right? And so don't beat yourself up if you don't have the right words. If when you see other people's goals, yours don't compare. When you see other people's standing list, y'all, when I see some planner babes tending list and their tending list, is looking full and fabulous. And I'll look at my tending list and I'm like, I only have two things on the monthly. <laughs> can you can you understand what I'm talking about? Write in the description box down below if you've ever had that feeling, right? But then I go back to the to the section in the um tending list that says comparison is not only the thief of joy, it's the thief of everything. And so I don't compare my tending list to theirs anymore. I know that that's your life, boo. That's your life. Live that. And mine is mine. And I live it the way that I'm able to write now. I use their spreads for inspiration. I may like how they use washi tape, y'all. I didn't even washi tape on the tending list. I'm all with it for 2022. And so you use it for inspiration, but not for comparison. Progress, not perfection, is the name of the game, bit by bit. And I love it. So have that mindset, and I think that you will be okay. Now, the final tip that I have for you in this video is use the resources that's available to you. Before you jump into the power sheets and start writing and then you're like, oh my gosh, after I've seen X, Y, and Z, this is not how I wanted it to be. And now I don't much like the way it is. And you're lamenting for a whole year. Use the resources that's available to you. Cultivate What Matters does have a Facebook group Join the Facebook group, lots of ideas in there on how you can use your pages, how you can write your items in so that it inspires you even more because that's what it is for me. How can I make this even more inspiring for me? So when I am looking at it at the end of 2022, I can say, man, I enjoyed myself this year in my power sheets. Man, I see how I've grown and the things that I have accomplished. Even if it's just two things every single month on my tending list. <laughs> Even if that's what it is. And there is a reason behind why two things was on my tending list. But anyway, um, you know, besides the Facebook group, there's also Goal School. Once you purchase the power sheets, you do have access to Goal School. 
Make sure you're going through it. They're going to uh, give you guidance on how to fill out your power sheets, what, what each page, you know, may be like. There's podcast episodes, video episodes. There's YouTube. Oh my word. YouTube has a plethora of information. Check videos from setting up power sheets for 2021. Setting up power sheets for 2022 is already on the way with some content creators. Not only that, Instagram. If you're on Instagram, Tending List Tuesday. Cultivate What Matters host Tending List Tuesday. And so if you're able to pick one or two of these sources and join in, keep yourself involved, you are not going to be able to do this by yourself. If those methods don't work for you, get a goal accountability partner, a goal accountability group, get involved. I do host a goal accountability group. It's called Get Your Goal On. Um, I now have it on Patreon. So if you're interested in signing up for that, you could go to Patreon. There are two levels for that. One is where you get to see all the replay videos if you're not able to make the live session. Plus you get access to everything else that we do on the Patreon page. That one is called making moves because we're making these moves, right? The next level is called I'm all in. And this is where you get access to all the live sessions that I do for Get Your Goal On. Not only does it have uh, access to the lives, it have access to the replays, everything else that we do on Patreon, Plus, it also has a special um, perk that's coming in 2022 that I'm not ready to share yet with my Get Your Goal On crew. Just being a member of my Patreon community, I do a live planning sesh once a month at the end of every month. And all of my Patreons are invited to that one. It's just where we come, we gather, we bring our planning items, whatever you wanna do to be able to set yourself up for the next month to be able to start it with success and end it with success, you get it done there. If you find that you're not ready for the month when the month comes, your planners aren't decorated if that's what you wanna do, your weekly spreads aren't set up, your to-do list, your task list are not done, your goals are not even laid out or specified, then you need to come and be a part of that session. I will link the Patreon page in the description box down below. You will also find my email address. If you would like to send me an email with any questions, you can post it in the comment section here or you can hit me up over on Instagram. I look forward to growing together with you in 2022. If you have any tips that you would like to leave, please put them in the comment section down below. If you have no tips, you can still just say hello to us in the comment section. We will appreciate that. I would appreciate that. And so y'all, I will talk to you all on the morning tea, which I host on this channel, Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be blessed and be a blessing.